The International Monetary Fund pledges up to $18 billion in loans to prop up Ukraine's teetering economy. The loan, which hinges on tough economic reforms in Ukraine, is welcomed by President Barack Obama. So it's a concrete signal of how the world's united with Ukraine as it makes tough choices at an incredibly difficult time. Speaking with one voice, both the U.S. House and Senate overwhelmingly passed bills aiding Ukraine Thursday, imposing sanctions on Russia. In a passionate address to Parliament, Ukraine's Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk warns of painful reforms needed to pull his country back from the brink of bankruptcy. Former Prime Minister Julia Tymoshenko pledged to fight corruption while announcing her candidacy in the country's May 25th presidential election. None of the candidates for the presidency post that I know of would do it as efficiently, precisely, consciously and effectively as I will. One of Ukraine's most polarizing political figures, Tymoshenko, was released from jail last month following the overthrow of President Viktor Yanukovych. Ukraine is battling to instill some semblance of normalcy after months of protests ignited by Yanukovych's decision to back away from closer ties with Europe in favor of Russia. Russian President Vladimir Putin says that Moscow will set up its own credit system to rival that of Visa and MasterCard, who pulled their services in the wake of sanctions imposed after Russia's annexation of Crimea. Putin also says Russia will do everything in its power to ensure people living in Crimea feel part of the Russian Federation. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.